and he's off. Now this is the Formula 3 race and you see me taking off. I got a really good hole shot on the race. And this is Hana, he's riding a Ninja 400. So he's really got a handicap with almost all the other bikes out there because they've all got more horsepower. So Hana has to ride in, <clears throat> depend on his uh, carrying his momentum through the corners. And he does a great job. So by my count, he was back in sixth place. He did finish the race in uh, fourth. <clears throat> He's just got really good lines. They're nice and smooth. You can listen to his throttle. Uh, he's not having to bang on the throttle at all. And he's getting a lot more deliberate on his turn-ins. But his lines are just spot on and he gets a great drive out of all the corners. So this should put him in fifth, and then this SV goes by. And I was comparing the lap times from Hanna's race to some of these other bikes. And they were really holding him up because once he got clear track and got by a couple of them, uh, he was down in the 25s. He's real fast up through this section as well. He's made some really good passes in that area. I've discussed the performance index between the bikes, uh, especially that Husqvarna 450. The power to weight ratio compared to the Ninja 400 is uh, huge. So it's really hard for him to uh, horsepower these guys. doing a great job keeping his head down. And I know he's not he's not able to carry the momentum he would like to carry in these corners because of the traffic. See right here, this, this, he's great in this area. He makes some good passes there. So that's the last time you'll see that SV. And uh, if this guy wasn't holding him up, he would have been uh, straight through on that. I actually thought he was going to take him on the outside of one that time. And there you go, you can read the uh, tire size on that one. Got real close. However, 
Oh, I thought he was going to go for it there. Really some good close racing. And the good thing is he didn't get frustrated and he didn't start making mistakes. He, uh, he stuck to his line and he did a great job with it. I believe that was the halfway mark. You can see he just really reels him in going into three. And he gets by him. He got a great drive out of three. Got by him and into six. You never see him again. Now he can put his head down, concentrate on his lines, and uh, just keep in pace. I believe his best lap time for the race was a 125.070, so a minute 25.070. And he actually broke into the 1 minute 24 second lap times uh, for his other races. Unfortunately, he forgot to turn the camera on, or he had a dead battery, one or the other. But he's just so nice and smooth through here. He gets a good drive. Nice and deep into three. Turn in. Gets a good drive out of three. And if you listen to his throttle control, he's very precise. He's not jerking it around at all. Just a great race. And uh, for him to place fourth place against a lot of bigger bikes with more horsepower, that's fantastic. He actually, uh, end of season, uh, was number one in points for the Formula 3 class. And somehow or another, with just doing the, the four events I did, I came in number two. I guess it didn't hurt that it was his birthday, his wife was at the track, uh, he had other family members come by to visit, so uh, he had a great day.
Final lap, white flag. So he had a really good weekend. Uh, he took the gold in two other races, which is first place, uh, Formula Formula Four, I believe, or Racer Four. Uh, he's racing against bikes similar to his, and uh, he had a couple of really good races and did a great job. So uh, the two of us were both kind of just sitting and waiting now for our bump notifications up into the amateur ranks and we'll have to figure out what classes we're going to race for next year. Anyway, if you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for the videos. Also, hit the bell for notifications, any new uploads or live streams I may do. If you're out there riding on twos, keep that shiny side up or upper side down. And as always, have yourself a great day.